AT&T Premier. How an administrator sets permissions for wireless users. Are you a company or billing account administrator who wants to set permissions for your wireless users? We'll show you how. You can also set permissions for in-store activities. To learn how to manage retail permissions, try the Retail Permissions tutorial or video. Permissions determine which functions are available when a wireless user logs in. For example, granting the Use eBill permission gives wireless users the ability to see billing information. If you're a company administrator, you'll set permissions for foundation accounts. The permissions you set apply to wireless users who have a wireless number under a specific foundation account. You can also set permissions for users in a billing account. Do this if you want a separate set of permissions for users in a particular billing account. If you're a billing account administrator instead of a company administrator, you might be able to set billing account permissions too. It depends on the permissions you've been granted. You can find the permissions granted to you under My Login Profile at the upper right. Let's start by setting permissions for all the wireless users in a specific foundation account. From the Premier homepage, move your cursor over Profiles and Permissions, and then select Manage Foundation Account Permissions. If a foundation account isn't already selected, you'll be asked to select one. We'll select the first foundation account. You can allow or deny wireless users access to each activity or function. For certain functions, you can also allow after approval. If you choose allow after approval, you or another administrator must approve each request related to that function. For an explanation of a permission, click the permission or click expand all. Start with Allow Online Account Management Registration, which lets wireless users under this foundation account register for Premier. We'll select Allow Always. Since users can now register and obtain a login ID, let's set the remaining permissions, which determine what activities or functions users can perform with their login ID. We'll give wireless users the ability to view their billing information online by selecting Allow Always for the Use eBill permission. For Grant Band Level View and Updatability, we'll leave the Deny default so wireless users can only view or make changes for their own wireless number. Set the remaining permissions and click Continue. Check your permissions and then click Submit and you'll receive confirmation that the permissions for your foundation account have been saved. Now let's set billing account permissions to grant a separate set of permissions for a particular billing account. Under Profiles and Permissions, select Manage Billing Account Permissions. If a billing account isn't already selected, you'll be asked to select one. We'll select the first billing account. Permissions default to the Use Fan or Foundation Account setting. When you choose permission settings that are different than the Foundation Account settings, Billing Account Permissions override the Foundation Account Permissions. We want users in this Billing Account to have more control over their wireless accounts. So let's give users the ability to change their device. For Update Device Make and Model, we'll choose Allow Always. We'll also let users change services for their wireless number. For Change Current Optional Features and Change Current Rate Plan, we'll choose Allow Always. For the remaining permissions, we'll leave the Use Fan setting default. Next, click Continue. Verify your permissions and then click Submit, and you'll receive a confirmation message. When you're finished, don't forget to let users know that they can go to the Premier Login page and register. And that's it! Premier makes it that easy to set permissions for your wireless users. Thank you for learning more about Premier, and thank you for choosing AT&T.